It's best if I stay away. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Can somebody please call Dr. Sedwick? Where? There's a problem with Harley's baby. Can somebody please call her now? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Agent Nitoro, you've been investigating the Santos crime family for how long? Objection! It is not the Santos crime family, it is the Santos family, and they are not on trial, and it has never been established that any member of that family ever Stop. committed a crime. Miss Wolf, rephrase. Very well, Your Honor. <clears throat> Agent Ituro, how long have you been investigating the activities of the Santos family? A little over four years. In fact, this prosecution is a direct result of information that you gathered during that investigation. Correct, yes. During routine surveillance of the defendant's residence, we heard conversations about the death of his mother that did not correlate with the supposed chain of events, and that led to an investigation into the death of Carmen Santos. Briefly, what evidence did you find? Well, that Carmen Santos didn't die when she was shot, but with the help of accomplices, she uh, managed to fake her own death. But you're sure now that she is dead, how? Well, we found her body at the bottom of the lake with a bullet in her from the gun of Danny Santos in her corpse. Boss! Shh. Agent Ituro, what led you to search the bottom of the lake for the remains of Carmen Santos? Uh, we got an anonymous tip and the divers discovered the body at the bottom of the lake. We made a positive identification of that body through dental records and actual jewelry on the body. And the bullet? That was uh, recovered during the autopsy. Since the defendant just let his mother rot at the bottom of the lake, we were only left with skeletal remains and we found the bullet lodged in a bone. Counselor, any objection to the characterization? No, not really. I do find the witness to be exceedingly prejudicial, but then again, I'm sure the jury is troubled by that as well. Well, I object to defense counsel's characterization of this public servant as anything but impartial. Ms. Wolf, I don't think you can be objecting to my refusal to object. <clears throat> Your Honor. Move it along, Ms. Wolf. Agent Ituro, you have a body that has been identified as the remains of Carmen Santos. You have a bullet from the defendant's weapon. Is there any doubt in your mind that Danny Santos murdered his mother, Carmen Santos? None whatsoever. Is there any evidence of any kind pointing to any other suspect in this case? None. Danny Santos shot his mother in cold blood. Thank you. Your witness. Special Agent Gus I. Toro, you're in charge of this investigation, correct? Correct, yes. And every aspect of the case? Every aspect, yes. Now, you're aware that uh, I know a couple of people at the FBI, so correct me if I'm wrong, but when the FBI works with local law enforcement, isn't it customary that they reserve certain details for a local liaison? Yeah, no, yes, but not me. I personally like to double check. I triple check everything myself. I take responsibility for all the evidence. So you're totally in charge? Correct, yes. The buck stops with Gus Itoro? Absolutely. Uh, yes, the buck stops right here. Excellent. No further questions? Your Honor, if it pleases the court, this witness is subject to recall. The witness may step down. Thank you, Your Honor. He had his uh, feel defending a lost cause. You, but I'm having a pretty good day. I'm getting out of here. Oh, no, 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 you're not. No, no you know why? Not. Because I haven't had any cards at you're, all since we got you're here. You're already here. Let's just get you checked out, okay? Well, I don't think Do I Do you want something to happen to the baby? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would think you would okay, be. Just please stay. 
vitals. Well, your vitals look normal. Just waiting for the blood test. And in the meantime... Wait a minute. What are you doing here? I am the doctor on call. Margaret Sedwick is my doctor. Harley. Margaret Sedwick is delivering a baby right now. Well, then I will wait. All right. Well, you know what? Could be all night. I'm sure the doctor said would not mind walking in here and just popping in for a visit for a few minutes with me. I don't care. I don't want her touching me. I'm not trying to fake a death here. If you want to wait all day and all night, be my guest, Harley. Okay. Okay? All right, all right. That's I, do have, that's I do have patients that trust me that's and a, need me. That's enough. Stop, both of you. You're not leaving and you're not waiting. I know you don't like her, but she's a very good doctor. So while we're here, let's just check out the baby, please. You're not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. Is everything settled? Sure. Rick? Yeah? Would you mind stepping outside? No. You want him here for the internal? I mean, I know you two are friends. I'm going but... outside. OK. Oh, and by the way, Claire, um, when you're ready for the sonogram, let me know, because I would like to see it. You don't trust me to read a sonogram? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I want him here. I want him here. Fine. Um. We're ready for the sonogram. Oh, good. been there before. It's old hat here. No problem. I'm an old hand. Yeah. We're ready. Okay. Can you hit the lights, please? Oh, sure. medical examiner for how many years? A dozen years, uh, six before as assistant. And could you please describe the body that was presented to you for autopsy on June 6th of this year? Uh, well, there wasn't much to work with. The body was totally decomposed, but an examination of the skeletal remains made it clear it was a woman, most likely early 40s. Well, not just likely, unless I'm mistaken. No, you're not mistaken. The key to the ID for us was the dental records. The comparison we made was a perfect match right down to the fillings. No question, the body found was that of Carmen Santos. Thank you. Your witness. Your Honor, I have no questions for this witness. The witness may stand down. And how close a match were you able to make between the bullet in the defendant's weapon and that found in the body of Carmen Santos? Almost exact. Uh, the bullet we found in the body was slightly compacted, probably from striking the bone. And if you eliminate that difference, how would the bullets compare? Then they would be an exact match. The bullet we found in the body definitely came from the defendant's gun. Thank you. Your witness. Uh, nothing at this time, Your Honor. It's a simple question. Well, maybe to you. <clears throat> Permission to treat this witness as hostile, Your Honor. Granted. On the night in question, did you or did you not overhear Maria Santos telling Danny Santos that he would find his wife, Michelle, down at the docks? In fact, that Michelle was there praying for him to get there in time. Something like that. Something exactly like that? Maybe you'd like to review the statement you made to the police. Yeah, sure. And while you're attempting to read, I would just like to remind you of the terms of your plea agreement on that weapons charge. <clears throat> they will disappear if you perjure yourself here today. So let's try this again. Did you overhear Maria Santos telling Danny Santos to go down to the docks to rescue his wife? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. He's all yours? 
Oh, come on, just one. Your Honor, I...